Hey everyone, welcome back to another video on the channel. As you guys know, the Type R has hit 10,000 kilometers and I decided to go ahead and get a tune done on those parts that are recently installed. Now with any Type R, you're going to have to jailbreak the ECU before it allows you to use the Flash Pro application. Here at NextMod, we're using the Dynapack instead of a DinoJet. Uh, the only difference is on a DinoJet, you're using the tire contact onto a roller. Uh, with Dynapack, you're removing the wheel and attaching the hub straight into the Dynapack pod. As Brian began to input the fuel and also select a Honda map, we're able to get a baseline runoff. This is just using a map that came with the Honda without any tuning. In between each dyno run, we were making small adjustments, which is pretty much the tuning, and we're able to get more power out of the car this way. As we made the first minor adjustments, we realized that the horsepower for the car uh, was not increasing as much as we'd liked it to, but the torque was definitely increasing at a higher rate. After about three to four pulls, uh, we soon realized that the car was not increasing as much as we'd like to. Uh, this could be due to the catted downpipe as this car is going to be on street and we're not sure if drive clean tests will be changing anytime soon. We decided to call it a day and our final numbers for the car were 341 horsepower and 367 torque. Uh, that's more than I thought it would be. When I first did the install video, I did say that my prediction for the car after these parts would be around 330 horsepower. So with the power made today, I'm more than happy and ready to hit the streets with this car. Uh, thanks for watching the final video.